put the munchkins to sleep, but be careful, they're noisy. Great! Nice! Good job! know what five ninths minus four ninths is. Well, when subtracting any two fractions, we always have to make sure that the denominators are the same. And they are the same because they're both nine. So that means our new fraction will have a denominator of nine. The second step is to subtract the numerators. So we have five minus four, which is one. So our new fraction is one ninth, making A our answer. know what two-thirds plus three-thirds is? Well, the first step when adding any two fractions is to make sure that the denominators are the same. And they are since they're both three. So that means our new fraction will have a denominator of three. The second step is to add the numerators. So we have two plus three, which is five. So two-thirds plus three-thirds is five-thirds, making A our answer. Amazing! Monsterific! Super! Way to go! I like it!
Keep it up! You're awesome! Super duper! We want to know what three tenths plus five tenths is. So when we're adding fractions, our first step is to make sure that the denominator, or what's on bottom, are equal. So for three tenths, our denominator is 10, and for five tenths, our denominator is also 10. So since 10 equals 10, we know that our denominators are equal, and we can move on to our second step. Now our second step is to write our new fraction with the denominators of our old fractions. So since both fractions have a denominator of 10, we know that our new fraction also needs to have a denominator of 10. And now we can move on to our third step, which is to add the numerators or add what's on top. Well, we want to know what 3 plus 5 is then. Well, 3 plus 5 is 8. And this tells us that 3 tenths plus 5 tenths is 8 tenths. Wonderful! Correct! Great! Good job! Amazing! Monsterific!
many hours are there in 540 minutes? So we have one hour is equal to 60 minutes. Two hours, if we have 60 plus 60, is equal to 120 minutes. Let's just keep going until we get to 540. Three hours, so we're adding 60 again, is equal to 180 minutes. Four hours is equal to 180 plus 60 equals 240. Five hours is going to equal 300 minutes. So each time we keep adding 60 minutes because we know that one hour is equal to 60 minutes. Six hours is equal to 360 minutes. Seven hours is equal to 420 minutes. We have eight hours is equal to 480 minutes. And nine hours is equal to 540 minutes. And we found our answer. Nine hours is equal to 540 minutes. How many days are there in three weeks? We know that one week has seven days. So how many do we have in three weeks? So let's go ahead and add. We have one week. If we have two weeks, we add another seven days. So we have 14 days. We add one more week. And we have 21 days. So in three weeks, we have 21 days. How many yards are there in 36 feet? We have to remember that one yard is equal to three feet. So we need to do a division problem here. And here we have three feet. We have a total of 36 feet. And each yard is equal to three feet. So we need to solve this division problem. Another way we can write this division problem is three divided by 36. So we can go ahead and start. We have three times what number equals three, and that's one. So we can subtract three here. We have zero. We bring down the six. And now we have three times what number equals six, and that's two, three times two equals six. So we can subtract six and we get zero, zero. So this is also saying three times 12 equals 36. So how many yards are there? There's 12 yards in 36 feet.
What is 6 times 3? Okay, so let's go ahead and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 oranges here. But we need to multiply by 3. So we need 3 groups of 6 oranges each. So let's put 2 more groups here. So now we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So we get a total of 18 oranges. So 6 times 3 equals 18. Super! Way to go! Thanks for taking such good care of the munchkins! This level is part of Adapted Mind Super Skills. I like our substitute, but I hope Miss Einstein feels better soon. Me too. She's been sick forever. And Krina Monster's gone missing! Officials say she was last seen working on her time machine. Oh no! She's stuck in 1970! We've got to help her! What if we build a time machine and use it to rescue her? You think we could do that? If we challenge our brains a lot, maybe they'll grow smart enough that we could pull it off. Lemon battery and time machine prototype ready for testing. Wait, what if you get stuck in the past too? Good point. This'll let her know that help is on the way. Oh, this is harder than I thought. At least that means the connections between our neurons are growing and we're getting smarter. How are we ever gonna save Incredible Monster? We keep messing up. Remember when she said mistakes are our friends? Can't we use them to help grow our brains? Yeah, but how do we do that again? Bye. Oh. Trying smarter! Step one is to study our weak spots and set goals for improvement. Our goal is to not blow it up. Well, at least it didn't blow up. Step two is to check our progress with someone who knows lots about what we're trying to do. Step three is to focus on what you're doing with your full brain and heart. and do it over and over. <gasps> no! Step four, not being mean to yourself for messing up. That's tough. What are we gonna do without a computer? Oh, I feel like such a failure. Oh, this is a bad mistake, but our mistakes don't mean we've failed. They just mean we can't time travel yet. Let's try again tomorrow. Did you see? She escaped the past. Yeah. What's wrong? I'm happy she's back, but I'm sad we didn't save her. If we had, then maybe we'd get to be superheroes like her. But we are like her. Incredible Monsters always tackling challenges to help others. That's what we did. We didn't actually help anyone, so what's the point? The more challenges we tackle, the more mistakes we'll make, but the more we'll grow. If we keep growing, one day we'll be able to help others when they need it most. Let's go tackle another challenge. 
What if we build a stove that runs on smelly food scraps? Great idea. The 70s sounded dangerous anyway. They had something called disco fever. Oh, Miss Einstein! How are you feel- wait, what's with your costume? Oh, <laughs> just getting ready for Halloween. Great to see you guys. You too! Um, do you mind if we borrow your chemistry book? You know, I heard that Incredimonster escaped the past because someone sent her a computer from the future, which she used to build another time machine. <laughs> uh, thanks, Miss Einstein. No problem, guys. Do you think that was the computer we lost? Maybe believing you can grow really does make a difference. What about you? What challenge will you tackle next? Take a sec to talk or think about a challenge you'd like to tackle this week. It could be anything from a conflict with a friend to an upcoming competition or a school project. What's your challenge? Awesome! Now that you've thought of a challenge, let's see if we can apply the steps of trying harder to our own lives. Can you figure out why you think this challenge will be hard for you? Are there certain things you need to learn or skills you need to improve to beat your challenge? I was a bit nervous at first to have an honest conversation with myself about this stuff. But when I remember that my brain is like a muscle and that I can get smarter and better at things, it's much easier to embrace my weaknesses and focus on improving them. That's awesome! So what's your plan to check your progress? Take a sec to talk or think about who you could ask for help with this specific challenge. Cool! Make sure to check in with that person and ask for their advice on how to improve. Rolfie and I got help from Mr. Takato, the engineer. He gave us great advice about how to build a better time machine. Staying focused is always the hardest step for me. How do you stay focused? 
talk or think about your favorite way to help yourself concentrate so you can focus fully when you work on your challenge. Imagine you're working hard on your challenge and you make a mistake. What do you think that means? That my brain is growing. That my brain is growing. That's right! When you make a mistake, your brain grows. If you focus on learning from your mistake, instead of making yourself feel bad for messing up, your brain will grow lots more. Using the four steps of trying smarter is a great way to overcome the challenges in our lives. But it can be hard to struggle through challenges and make mistakes. So I'd love to know why you think it's important to tackle challenges. It'll help me tackle bigger and bigger challenges. Exactly! If we keep tackling challenges, we'll always be growing. If we're always growing, we'll always be making ourselves better, smarter, kinder, and, well, awesomer. Which means we'll be able to help others when they need it most. Put the time to set sail with some new friends. Watch out for whales!